Good morning, everybody. This is Tom, and this is our second episode of our, well, my little wildlife adventure. As you know, I am going from place to place trying to, uh, to learn how to shoot better wildlife. I figured I'd take you along with me, and we can learn together. So, um, as you know, I am using the uh, Panasonic G7, which is a 16 megapixel camera. Uh, very similar to the GH4, and I'm also using the 100 to 300 um, millimeter, which is equivalent to a 2 to 600. You know, it's not the best gear. It's uh, extremely beginner gear, uh, micro four third system, and you know, I think that's the best place to start, especially in my situation. So, um, you know, why not try to shoot a little bit of wildlife on a shoestring budget? And that is what I'm going for for this these next few episodes so let's see how it goes today I want to try to find some flying birds but uh, I've already been here for about 10-15 minutes and I'm seeing a lot of perched um, uh, aviary I'm seeing a lot of waterfowl and uh, some cranes so let's jump in <laughs> So I'm down by the water level here, and I'm not sure if you can see behind you, but we are at what used to be um, a portion of this canal lock here at Fisher Ferry. And um, I don't know, I think it's a really great spot because it's very uh, secluded from most normal human traffic. And I figured if I'm going to find a spot where they're going to be flying, this would be it. Oh wait, I can see something. No, no, he, he, see, I'm just a little too, I'm a little too slow today. He landed before I could get to it. But um, anyway, so I'm gonna carry on. I'm gonna continue on down this path and uh, let's do a little bit, a little bit of searching. So one of the things I'm noticing about wildlife and that I know about wildlife is really what you're supposed to do if you're looking for flying birds, obviously is not walking up to them and trying to scare them, right? Wildlife photography takes incredible amount of patience and steady care in really just being in a place and waiting for something to Happen. By something to happen, I mean birds flying into your area. Let them get acclimated to your presence, and that's what's really important. But one of the things I really need you guys to know as well is that I am really not just here for wildlife photography. I'm not just here to make this video. I'm here to get some exercise. That is really what it's about. I figured why not be able to take a camera with me and go on a nice walk. A few miles here and there in the morning, get my morning stroll in as they say and and capture some some great shots so let's see what happens all right guys so i've been walking for about god i'm gonna say yeah, I'm gonna say probably I've been walking for about 30 minutes now. Not really that much of a walk, but I'm not really finding a whole lot on this trail. Um, most of the of the birds are pretty much that direction. So, uh, you know, like I said, I'm learning as I go. But one of the things I wanted to mention to you um, is that you know, even if I don't find anything of value in terms of a good photographic picture um, or a good visual for you at the very least I'm getting great exercise um, the other thing I wanted to mention too is that I am using um, for autofocusing for my camera I'm using uh, the continuous autofocus system with three or four autofocus points in the center 
That way, if it's if I am um, primarily focusing on just three or four points in the middle, then I have a better chance of kind of really snapping to that focus more so than if I had more autofocus points across the board. So anyway, keep going. our little journey for today what has happened not really a whole lot um, am I disappointed yeah I'm quite a bit disappointed but I, you know I can be like every other wildlife photography video out there on YouTube and I can talk about how successful I am or how much I failed in this particular venture but I, or this particular day at least anyway but I, I do want to get a little personal with you and kind of let you know how I navigate the mental space of photography in general. So as you know, I am primarily a wedding photographer. I pride myself on getting the shot, not the second, third, or fourth time, but again, it's the first time, every time. The idea that I can anticipate and capture a moment, a fleeting moment, without burst shooting, without anything of that sort, without relying on that kind of technology, um, is makes me feel very, very good. So that being said, with wildlife photography, it's very much a different situation. With wildlife photography, I have to be on it, not just on it. I have to not only anticipate, I have to be in the right place at the right time and be ready, be vigilant every time. Now in wedding photography, I know what to expect. I know what's coming next. I know when the first dance is, I can anticipate when they're going to go in for a kiss or a hug or when, when someone's going to sob. I know when that's going to happen because I've been doing that for about 20 years. But with wildlife photography, I never really know what's happening. And I think it's the inexperience in me. I really feel that that's what the case is. Um, just now, actually, I was looking just a few moments ago and I just saw a blue jay, like right over there, flew right past me. Anyway, see, as you can see, not prepared. But I think it takes a little bit more than being prepared and having the correct gear. I think it takes a little bit of knowledge and experience to go along. And I think as we go through it together, we will see more and more of, uh, well, I, at least I will see more better shots going along. And that's what, that's what I'm really here to do. So I know this was a talking head, I apologize, but what I'm going to do is, you know, every day I come to these nature preserves to do a little bit of shooting, a little bit of exercise and walking. Um, I'm going to continue to do that and hopefully in the next video you'll see a little bit more. If not, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start combining days so until I can get an actual beautiful portfolio to show you. But today we'll, uh, we'll show you a few shots I've gotten. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy this video, you got something out of it. If you did, please click that like button. Click that subscribe button as well and the, the notification bell to let you know when my next video will be coming out. And hopefully you know, you'll find me on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll see you again, uh, see you again next time on our journey.